welcome in welcome you know what it doesn't matter at this point y'all get it we've done enough of these y'all are welcome but <laughs> looking forward to another edition of scattered thoughts where me i sky give you uh an, uh, some amount of time about uh some thoughts i've had over the week or over a couple of weeks depending on how long i've been marinating on something and uh we talk about it and i hear from you all in the comments and so uh let's go ahead and get into it again these are these are just mini rants so I don't know why, but inevitably almost every time, and I just end up deleting the comic at this point, I'd be like, oh my God, this is like so unscripted. It's like, bam, scattered, unscripted. I say it every time, but I don't know. Every time there's somebody, and at this point, I'm just like, these point people are trolling. But yes, these are scattered thoughts. These are not fully scripted uh, videos, because again, I have a mixture of content on the site where we get varied you know, input. Anyways, y'all get the point. Um, but today I want to talk about uh, a topic that I think is actually, uh, unsurprisingly as I was writing it and maybe it was just subconsciously, uh, as I was, I was kind of, you know, really processing it is connected to last week's topic. Um, the last topic about, uh, broken trust. And so I think we hit on a number of things in that, in that piece. And then there's kind of, yeah, a couple of threads from there, but, uh, it's not specifically about broken trust, but it, it is about something that Bungie, in my opinion, broke uh, and how it has an impact. And so, um, yeah, where do I want to start? Mm -mm. Well, well, I'll start. I'll start at this place. Got things an easy place to say. Um, I say it jokingly all the time, all the time on stream. Uh, maybe not all the time, but I say it pretty frequently, um, you know, throughout throughout my weeks. Um or just, you know, as I'm having a conversation, but I truly do. Why is my alarm? Oh, my, I forgot my alarm's going off. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's unscripted. This is, this is, this is live. This is reality. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just thinking about, uh, friendship being the true end game. Uh, that's the point I was getting to. Uh, and so I know like people jokingly say it. I know I jokingly say it. I make a joke about it every so often, but, uh, I truly believe that what honestly you know makes the game and we we're having a little bit of conversation on stream about this like two days ago um but i genuinely think what makes the game fun is not the game itself the game itself is fun again i want to be clear i played it for about seven years uh I, it's had its ebbs and flows of like when it was really engaging when it wasn't so engaging i think we're kind of in a moment right now where because of the bugs and glitches server issues it's not the most fun because I can't like I can't just log on the game and expect to play the game. I log on the game and I'm getting kicked <laughs> to the menu screen like several times, right? So it's not it's you know that can be a little bit exhausting. And so um, even in these moments where the game maybe not be like fully optimized or in the space that we want it to be, uh, the the one thing that you know when the game works, um, whether it's my community members, folks who are part of the cloud commune. Uh, whether it's just friends I play with in the game, what makes it fun is is having those friends uh, to to meet to meet new people as well as game with friends that I have. And and I feel like along this kind of thread of broken trust, I've been feeling more and more uh, really sad that I I can't play with friends or or it's just not as viable for me to play with friends uh, as I was hoping to in Lightfall for Lightfall to be a new expansion excuse me, and a new DLC um, with new expansions underneath it uh, for it to be all this new content, a new planet, a new subclass and strand, all these different aspects. Uh, I think, I think, and I think rightfully so back to the witch queen era with the launch of witch queen and how for, for such a significant part of that, I would say up until like the last like month of the witch queen DLC, not just talking about one expansion, the DLC itself, I would argue that Witch Queen was extremely engaging from the launch and the campaign first being introduced to light bears, uh, hive guardians, whatever you want to call them, uh, being introduced to uh, all the different aspects uh, that were coming along with like Mars, there's great lore, all these different pieces uh, to go from that to Lightfall, where honestly, uh, I'm not one of those people like the campaign narrative was trash. It wasn't as good as it could have been, but it wasn't trash. Um, again, if you if you actually read the lore, a lot of people just watch YouTube videos and 
form their opinion based on someone else's opinion. But if you actually experience the exotic quest and went through the campaign and do all the things, it's it's a pretty average story. It's not hitting out of the park, but it's a pretty, you know, run of the mill story. And so uh, to kind of be in the space where it's like the game, I don't want to say the game's underperforming because again, I for as much as I'm enjoying Lightfall, I, I don't think that's it. But I would say that there is some level of benefit, and and this is kind of the core point here. Uh, there there is some level of benefit to appealing to the masses, to making quick fixes to things that I think goes a lot farther uh, in, in the long term than maybe Bungie is willing to admit. Is this a Bungie criticism video? Kind of, sort of, not really. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it kind of, you know. Yeah, 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 no, maybe it is Monday Chris's video, but the fact is, like, I feel like, and again, I'm pr- probably for a number of reasons, but I've, I've just felt so much recently that beyond things that were just kind of outside of Bungie's control, or again, were bugs and glitches that, like, just maybe, maybe they legitimately take six months to fix. I don't know. I'm not a dev. I'm not here to criticize that aspect of it. But what I do think is just like, even little things were like they nerfed <laughs> unnecessarily. It wasn't breaking the game to our knowledge, to our knowledge as community members. It was not, again, I'll, I'll keep that caveat open. I'm not a dev. I don't know the background, but to our knowledge, uh, it was not breaking the game to have to be creating as many orbs as we were creating orbs is the new elemental wells. We don't have warm ride cells. And so because you were able to create all these wells, there are all these really cool starting of scale builds. There was these real cool fusion grenade builds. Uh, Harder than most light was still super viable. All these different things, right? Where we had all these different aspects. So it was like, that felt really good and then they nerfed it uh there was a glitch where you could get extra progress uh, on an experience for your crafted weapons they nerfed it and so i just feel like between like nerfs that just felt really unnecessary and then also just being in a space where there's other aspects of the game like right now we're about to go into guardian games what next week and they have not said anything about patching the exploit on strike scoring. And I fully believe um, what we well, actually know it started this week, whatever. We, I don't know whenever I put this out. Um, but, but Guardian Games, they up to this point, though, let me say it that way. Up to this point, Bungie has not said anything about strike scoring about patching the exploit from last year so i fully expect that community members are going to find that exploit uh, and they're gonna get they're gonna exploit it and then again it kind of ruins the competition i can't take the competition seriously all the different things or is this like i feel like um let me say it this way because again i want to be critical and i want to be critical like i think there's fair criticism out there but i also want to be fair that i'm not a dev i don't know all the ins and outs but what i would say is if i if i worked for bungie i do think i i'd be interested in why it seems like i'll say it that way um i know we have community managers but it seems like we don't have a role in bungie that actually is um mm, I'm going to say this and it's going to sound like a jerk move because I know they check feedback. Um, and I, I also understand that, like, um, especially if you've worked at a big organization before or in your in your life, talking to like community members, or people with like nine to fives so and you work with a big organization, you know, there can be a lot of bureaucracy. There can be a lot of layers, a lot of steps. You have to check with this team and this team has to check with that team. And then this team has to make a compromise with that team. And then you have to check with legal, you know, like all the different things. So I understand it's not a straight line. I'm just saying what it feels like. Right. So don't misconstrue what's true. What I'm saying here, but it just feels like there's not. Uh, a body of folks within Bungie who are actually looking at the pieces that are popping up most or, or maybe whatever metrics they're using to, to highlight what they think is a priority versus what the community thinks is a priority and figure out a way that like, how can we get to a compromise of like this as a company speaking as like, if I was Bungie, this is a company is what is feasible. Like we literally couldn't get this glitch fix for six months. Um, and then as community members also being able to say like, okay, as community members are, are directing comments to community members, Hey community, this is what's possible. This isn't what's possible. Right. And so for me, just feeling like this gap that like 
when we don't have that extra communication, when we don't have the prospect, and again, I'm coming to my first point, we don't have the extra communication where it seems like there's, there's just things that are like, why? And like the orb nerf, honestly. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell it kind of got under my skin. Cause I was just like, it just felt so unnecessary. Some of my bills like just don't feel as powerful anymore. It's just like, it was just wow. Cause it was like, it was out of the blue. It was via a tweet, not even the official patch notes until they patched it later and, you know, fixed it. But it was, I find I have to find out via a tweet that like half of my builds that I just was able to put together because of the new uh armor system uh and the new uh mod system in lightfall which you just changed now i'm finding out uh the cool builds i was playing around with in all three of my characters warlock hunter and titan most of those aren't as potent anymore for why like <laughs> like literally for why um and just being in a space where it's like it that, that doesn't feel good uh, it doesn't feel like i'm being listened to as a community member uh and i know i'm not the only one who felt that way about uh, the orb thing um, uh, about some of the other recent nerves. I know like we're getting like buffs to primaries and some other pieces, but like, uh, I, again, it just doesn't feel like, again, I want to be very clear. I'm not, I'm not saying I know how their system works. I'm saying feels I go off of feelings because ultimately uh, and kind of bring it to my, my, my core point when the game is in a status like this, uh, I play with a variety of people, right? I play with new lights. I play with friends who are, you know, f I play with folks who's like been with Destiny since since the beta, uh, you know, like, uh, and I also play with folks who Destiny's not their main game. And for the base of my friends or the base of my like internet homies and friends who play, but it's not their main game, which was is, is still a significant amount, right? Because not everyone mains Destiny. It's it's it takes a lot mentally and physically to to really be invested at that level full time um it is kind of almost like a full-time job but when we're in these states of games that base of friends the base of friends i really have fun enjoying playing with but destiny is not their main game uh when we're in these states as a community and it feels like there's just some aspects we're not being listened to uh whether that's true or not uh Again, I'll be very clear, whether it's true or not. Again, I don't know all of their internal systems at Bungie, but it, it feels like we're not being listened to with certain things. Some things that we like that don't seem to be breaking the game are being nerfed and now it feels less fun. Uh, there's glitches, all these different things. And, and again, glitches, bugs, all those different things, nerfs, buffs, they happen. But when all of this is happening, plus, hear me out, Plus, we're not getting added communication to at least again. I'm not looking for you to explain uh, SQL or CS or whatever. I'm not looking for you to Python. I'm not looking for you to explain the code. That's irrational. No, no one's sitting here bun telling Bungie to like explain the code to me. Uh, maybe someone is ignorantly, but like I'm, I'm not here saying that. But what I am saying is that extra communication goes a long way. I feel like we're in. Uh, the best metaphor I can can give, I think, in the moment uh, until I like reflect on it some more would be that like we're we're in a marriage and the marriage is strained. Something happened, uh, you know, not necessarily saying, assigning blame one way or another, but just a series of small things happened in the marriage uh, incrementally. And it's just been building. The tension's been building over time uh, to to right now where we could really use. Uh, some extra communication where you could really use a mediator, a counselor to come in and, and help us bridge some of these, these, these conversations that need to be had. But instead uh, we, we, we just keep walking around the house, avoiding each other, uh, being passive aggressive and, and really not saying what needs to be said. And I feel like, you know, we've seen it in TV drama. Some of us have seen it in our real lives. But when we're in those kind of situations and you have a couple, you have, uh, you know, a couple, whether they're married or not, but you but you have someone who's in a deep relationship and there's all that tension. That tension it doesn't just happen at the breakfast table. It flows into like dinner with friends. It flows into, you know, like maybe you, you're going to church. It flows into church. It flows into all these other aspects. And, and then kind of the, the analogy I'm trying to pull out here is just like I feel like what is fundamentally about the community and Bungie's increase seemingly increasingly 
<laughs> I know it's <laughs> but but increasing, uh, it seems to be increasing uh, break and trust and communications and breakdowns. I feel like are overflowing into tensions. Uh, again, these these are assumed tensions. I don't know what's going on, but it does feel like uh, the more that these tensions are here uh, without the extra communication, I feel like the community doubled da- da- down on their criticism. Bungie doubled down and kind of backs up their, their kind of viewpoint. And the less we're actually talking to each other and having healthy communication. Do we still get Wednesday blogs? Yes, that's cute or whatever. Do we still get twops? Yes, that's cute or whatever. But I, I, I just, I, I think we're kidding ourselves if we're saying that those two forms of communication plus what we get on Twitter and Reddit is actually sufficing for everything that's going on. If it was actually sufficing, I don't think we'd be in the place we are right now as a community. If it was actually sufficing, <laughs> sufficing, I think, I think, I think, I think we'd be able to have. Again, there's always going to be trolls, unfortunately. Uh, but like, I do feel like if we were weren't in the place that we are right now, not only would I have friends to play with because I can't, I can't even convince my friends. I can't even convince the people. Again, uh, uh, you know transparently these are people who like destiny is not their main game but they these are people who are looking to make destiny their main game these are people who are looking to go deeper and and get deeper into build crafting get deeper into like the the story and the lore but like i can't even convince them to get on the game during a new dlc of lightfall i can't even convince them to play right now at all be, be because of the state of the game because uh even them and their stake and maybe they're not as invested as i am as someone who like mains this game i, I don't like life the game um because like i i don't have time to life the game but i i main the game and i play the game a lot and even for 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 me to kind of say like oh well but if you just come back and then there's this exotic quest i don't want to i don't want to spoil it for you but this is really cool and then this aspect and then we can actually try this gms are live right now and like no matter what i say or do like the fact that like because of how there's these breaks in trust uh people regardless of their stake in in the the community and how deep they're invested in the game feel this break they feel <laughs> even if they can't like specifically be like oh this like you know young i'm car uh, young on i'm car spine build is no longer as potent as it used to be because of this stealth nerf which again stealth nerfs is is its own conversation unfortunately uh because again i think it adds to the tension just be transparent like if you're going to nerf something there's like oversight you're a big company there's oversight you have you're working with like 14 different teams to try and craft a twab and then someone forgets something that's one thing but like also some of these I, I, i'm going to push back that in some of these stealth nerds yeah, you're you're it's going to be hard trying to convince me that y'all didn't know about them but again we're getting to the point where like uh, i feel like i made the point so i just want to come back to the point and then uh yeah hear from y'all but but yeah just being in a space where like the state of the game is what it is and i've i feel like i've weathered many uh, storms <laughs> in this community uh both personally and facing like racist attacks uh, f- uh facing homophobic attacks just people just being like nasty terrible people and that's one thing and there's ways to prepare for that uh i always appreciate folks who are in community and support with me during those times and then there's like another thing to like feel like we're in at, 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 at you know in coming to blows with the company why does it feel like every week since lightfall has dropped there's been another like i don't want to call it a beef because i don't want to over exaggerate but it does feel like there's just been this this silent tension that is increasingly becoming like loud um and being in a space where it's like it was just like this small thing normal bickering uh, that you know the community will have with Bungie and I'm saying the community because again uh, even the bad parts of the community are still the community and so we do want to like fix those pieces so people aren't toxic but I, I again there, there, there are things that happen right and not, not saying I condone them I do not condone any harassment or uh, any doxing or any of those things that were happening uh, but I'm saying that like I feel like there has to be a collective responsibility like the core point here 
both as community members and also I do think Bungie has to have its own collective responsibility to itself and some of the subtweeting and some of these other like slick comments that some of their their staff has made right let's be honest about it let's let's call a thing a thing I feel like everybody has to do the work and has to be willing to like come to the the figurative table uh, to to figure out what the next steps are going to be because the next season, which they revealed to be called Season of the Deep, uh, which is going to be season 21, uh, the future seasons after that, like the the final shape. Honestly, at this point, I don't care how good the final shape is. And I think a lot of people feel that way. I think a lot of people are just kind of like, screw the final shape. It really doesn't matter how 3D and 4K and great. It could be the greatest story we've ever experienced in Destiny, but it wouldn't matter at the pace we're going because of how fast things are deteriorating in our communication from the community to Bungie, Bungie to the community, uh, as well as just the the actual things in games. Because it's one thing, again, being very clear, this is my last thing, it's one thing to be in a spot and we understand Bungie has its own engine, Bungie has its servers, there's things that we as people who are not devs, people who are not engineers, don't know, we can't, we literally can't be like, ooh, this is could take a week, this could take six months to fix. We don't know those things, we don't. How many times I got to say that? I've said this on many videos at this point. Uh, so don't try and, you know, I hate when people like misconstrue what I say uh, in the comment section. I'm not saying I'm a dev. I'm not saying that I know more than a dev. What I am saying is that we can recognize and feel the experience. We can feel um, when things aren't working in game. And that's just, that's, it is what it is. And so being in a space where that's happening and we can deal with that normally, but on top of that, you know, going to the meta, uh, marriage uh, analogy, now, now, you know, this person I'm supposed to be in a commitment with is not talking to me and they just throw a bagel across the, the table to, to me and it's like, here you go, right? Storms off goes to work. You know, I don't feel good. I don't feel loved. I don't feel held. And like there, there's these breakdowns that, that honestly, I think, um, my potential solution, and you know, you all, uh, this is my solution. And again, I'm, I'm going to get off after this. Y'all know I love uh, to offer solutions. I think a, a community town hall. I think, honestly, uh, a community town hall, uh, uh, there's a, diff- a number of different ways that they can they can hold it. Uh, maybe it's like a, a live stream on Bungie's channel. Uh, maybe it's a Zoom uh, meeting, which was Zoom could kind of get a little bit uh, wieldy because there there are so many members in the community, but some type of format where Bungie actually gives us insight. Again, I'm not asking for the code. I want to be very clear. As I said, like <laughs> seven minutes ago, I'm not looking for the code. I think most people are not looking for the code. We are looking for the relationship to begin to be healed and mended because we love the game. Uh, for those of us who are civilized in our criticism, we're, we're offering these things because we love these games. We're not talking about trolls. We're talking about people who are genuinely like, hey, this doesn't feel good. And hey, how can it get fixed? And when we just get silence or we get the, like these super short, vague Wednesday blogs or twabs, honestly, I think it does more harm than Bungie is willing to recognize or acknowledge. Because at the end of the day, again, going back to this marriage analogy, the fact is we made a commitment to one another <laughs> and maybe that seems like a little over the top, but to me, it's, it's very valid. We made a commitment to one another. We, we bought the game. We're a part of the community. We enjoy the content. There's been a spark there. So let's not ignore that the spark was there. We just need a counselor. We just need a media. We just need someone to help us bridge some of the miscommunications, bridge some of the passive aggressiveness that's going on. Again, as I said before, both passive aggressiveness from Bungie staff, as well as passive aggressiveness and uh, honestly, un- uh, unnecessary uh, harassment and, and, and things that I do not condone from the community members. I do not condone that. Uh, I, I think a gesture, it'd still be a gesture because <laughs> ultimately things are going to get fixed in day. But I think, I truly believe that if we just had something like a town hall, if we had something where we could all just like come together, I'm not looking for you to debut footage from Final Shape or from the next season or what. I don't care right now. I don't care, honey. Honey, I want to speak to you. I want to have a conversation with you. I want to be in 
I want to be with, I want to feel like we're in this together. And right now you Bungie <laughs> being the, you showing me a new trailer, uh, showing us what the, I don't care. I don't care. I love this game, but I do not care. What I do care about is being in a space where this community can start to heal. And I just don't think we're there yet. And I think, Again, something like a community town hall where they are addressing the status of the servers. They're addressing the status of uh, community feedback. They're addressing the status of where we are right now. And the key thing, it's not just Bungie talking at us. It's us being able to have a conversation, obviously, with people who are willing to be civilized and them not answering pre-made questions but them answering live questions from community members uh, and having a dialogue. Again, I think honestly it would take again to the metaphor, to the analogy, I would take like a counselor I would take like a third party group that could help mediate the discussion. Cause I think it couldn't just be Bungie holding all the power. It couldn't just be the community members holding all the power. But for me, Having that space, I think, could go so much of a farther way than the bickering that we're seeing, the harassment that we're seeing. Uh, again, do not condone the harassment doxing of anybody, whether it's a community member, whether it's staff. I do not condone at all. But a conversation could go a long way. That's all I have for right now. Uh, it, it's been on my mind. I think it's connected to the broken trust. I think it's connected to a number of the things that we've talked about uh, in our long form videos. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm here. I'm invested. <laughs> I'm I'm invested in, in the the well being of this game. And uh, yeah, it it just honestly breaks my heart that uh, we're we're not in a space where uh, we can actually uh, talk. Uh, you know, Bungie to community, community to Bungie in a in a transparent. Uh, authentic way that, that allows all of us to to get to where we're trying to go. So uh, maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm I'm just overly ambitious. But I would love to hear what y'all think. Uh, this is a long, a little bit longer one today. Uh, probably our longest one to date. Uh, but but it's it's been bothering me. And rather than splitting it up to like three videos, I I'd rather just keep it in one. Uh, and it's all here. It's it's on record. Uh, I'm gonna refer folks back to this, but. Uh, I think until we have this moment of, and again, I keep saying a community town hall because I, I think there's real life examples that a lot of folks can point to where this has been helpful between like a, 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 an elected leader, like a city council member or a mayor or whatever your example may be. Uh, and, and, and being able to just hear from the people, <laughs> being able to also from their perspective, offer some insight about like what's happening in their office. And I, and I think that, uh, it would go so much farther away than I think a lot of folks will, will acknowledge. Um, Cause sometimes it truly is people just wanting to be seen and heard period seen and heard period. And I, I feel, I feel like uh, there's just an undervaluing right now of, of how powerful that can be is to say, you know what? Let's not talk around each other. Let's not talk over each other. Let's not talk under each other. Let's actually talk to each other because I see that you're upset about the state of the game as community members and also as staff, we're saying these are the things that we're struggling with as staff. And so uh, some type of mediator to come in and host that conversation, I think, is, is the best uh, chance we have at things getting better because otherwise I, I could care less about fin what final shape offers. I could care less about any lore. I'm going to play the game. I'm still going to help new lights. I'm still going to help community members, but uh, the level of engagement and, and, and being present in the game and enjoying it like I used to will be absolutely gone. Absolutely full stop. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I love this game. I love this community flaws and all I love this community flaws and all. Uh, and, and I do hope for better days. Uh, but truly, that's it. I uh, would love to, to hear what folks think and what the folks are kind of feeling uh, and responsible for what I offer today, the solution of, of something like a community town hall. And also just generally, uh, how are you feeling? Are, uh, I know, again, I've read the Reddits. Don't go on Reddit, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I've read the Twitter threads. Um, 
but from PVP to PVE uh, to the user interface, you know, the whole aspect of the game, it just feels like everything is breaking down. Uh, and, and I just want it to get better. So let me know. Uh, are you feeling it too? Uh, what are your reactions to what we offer today? And uh, if you made it thus far in the video, I appreciate you. Uh, Cause this is a, uh, this was a, uh, this was one those this was one of them ones uh, in terms of, of rants. But again, I, I say this because yeah, I just say it because I believe it. I say it because I truly uh, do want this community to be in a better space. And uh, I think I have my part in uh, saying what needs to be said or what I believe needs to be said uh, to help push conversations forward, to help push us in our thinking uh, and to help uh, hopefully uh, get us all to a solution that uh, everyone can uh, be uh, amendable with. Thank you and uh, look forward to see you all next time. Peace.